Hi, I'm Catherine Mello, and I'm a data visualization engineer at Zaxis, a company that makes advertising messages more relevant and data-driven. Within Zaxis, I work on a product and team called Copilot. We're a group of data scientists, engineers, and product managers building an AI engine to amplify these human strategies. And as you can imagine, we get a lot of questions about what's happening behind the scenes when it comes to our tech. We've done some pretty cool visualizations to date, but a few months ago, we found ourselves in a bit of a dilemma. Both our designers had just moved to other companies right when we were about to kick off the design phase for our biggest ever data viz project. A product manager, Toby and I, teamed up and put on our designer hats, or rather I should say our party planning hats, because ultimately what we decided we needed was a party, a sketch party. And now I'm gonna walk you through how to host a sketch party of your own. So let's set the scene. You have a challenge, something like to communicate how an ad campaign performs and delivers and explain how your product adds incremental value with its machine learning optimizations. Step one, outline your requirements. Ideally, you frame these as questions your visualizations should answer for a user. As an example, you can see here our requirements for our budget optimization strategy, which involves dynamically shifting budget to the best performing ad inventory. And then repeat this process for all the components you need visualized. Step two, schedule the party. So of course you need to pick a time and a date and send out those invites. The more the merrier. Everyone on your team who wants to join should be invited. Step three, prompt, sketch, upload, and discuss. Prompt your party goers with the first of your requirements from step one and invite them to create two to three sketches using any medium they like. Pencils down at the end of six minutes. The emphasis here is on quantity of unique ideas, not beauty of each individual sketch. Attendees should upload their sketches to the designated Slack channel. Next, discuss. Give each party goer an opportunity to explain their sketches. Try to avoid leading questions and be a listener. Hold your opinion for now. We found it best to limit the sketch time to a strict six minutes in order to encourage super quick, low fidelity and low stress ideations but on the other hand, allow ample time for the conversation afterward when you might critique certain chart types, discuss the pros and cons of each, and maybe even generate new ideas too. And then repeat this prompt sketch, upload and discuss process for all of the visualizations you had outlined. Step four is the post party debrief. This step happens after the main event, so you and your project manager are free to gossip. Take note of the visualizations that resonated for you and the group and why. After the party might come detailed pencil sketches, user interviews, high fidelity mockups, and before you know it, you'll be halfway through the dev build and have a V1 release milestone at the end of February. So you may be thinking at this point, this is pretty low tech and there are some highly sophisticated tools for collaborative design out there. But frankly, I think people deserve a break from the screen right about now. And sometimes it takes a pen and a paper to unlock the inner creative. Plus there are some other benefits too. You'll find out how your product can be explained from a data scientist who knows the nitty gritty details of the mechanisms and algorithms behind your product, from a product marketer who has a knack for distilling information to its most digestible form, plus a nice set of gel pens, and from your product manager who really understands your users. Maybe even from uh, an engineer who has a certain knack for air travel metaphors. Two, increase pride in project. Your teammates will see their own ideas reflected in the visualizations and will feel more motivated to give feedback in the future, fix bugs when they arise, and propose new ideas too. Step three, increased engagement in data viz. Before you know it, you might start seeing data scientists, backend engineers, and product analysts showing up at your new data viz journal club. You might even see them uh, coming up with cute nicknames for your visualizations, such as for this uh, scatter plot over time, the jellyfish with hats, or from a previous iteration in the design, that creepy stick figure family where two of them are wearing hats. And finally, you'll lower the barrier of entry to design. So I'm not saying we're all designers now, and I don't consider myself one either. The point is people don't need to learn the full Adobe suite to play a part in the design process. This collaborative exercise is now embedded in our team process and something we look forward to continue using. I invite you to try it out too and let me know how it goes. You can find me on the DVS Slack or on Twitter at M-E-L-L-0-K-A-T.